It was one of the most defining moments in history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong setting foot on the lunar surface, the first person to step onto another world. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. With his colleague Buzz Aldrin at his side, Armstrong planted the American flag on the sea of tranquility. Human ingenuity had triumphed. In an instant, Armstrong became the most famous man on the planet. But when he returned to Earth, he shied away from the publicity. Once the frenzy at the moon landing faded, Neil Armstrong shunned the limelight, refusing interviews and requests for autographs. And third, never, ever get the reputation of being a good speaker. <laughs> Mr. Batten would be pleased with me today. <laughs> He chose a quiet life in a farmhouse in his home state of Ohio. Neil Armstrong was born there on August the 5th, 1930, the eldest of three children. His father, an auditor, took Neil on his first flight at the age of six. He began flying lessons and earned his certificate at just 15, before he had a driver's licence. He studied aerospace engineering at university and joined the Navy to pay for his education. Neil Armstrong flew in the Korean War in 1951 and later became a test pilot in the United States before joining NASA. His skills as a pilot and engineer saw him chosen to command the Apollo 11 mission to the moon with his crew, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. Listen, uh, the Eagle has landed. They touched down on the lunar surface on July the 20th, 1969. Neil Armstrong would later say the experience made him feel very, very small. The important achievement of, of Apollo was a demonstration that humanity is not forever chained to this planet and our, our, our visions go rather further than that and our opportunities are unlimited. He retired as a pilot and from NASA soon after the mission, taking up a teaching position at the University of Cincinnati. He also served on the boards of several companies, but declined numerous offers to join advertising campaigns and even sued people who tried to make money from his image. Neil Armstrong had three children with his first wife. He married again in 1994. In a statement, Neil Armstrong's family said he served his nation proudly as a Navy fighter pilot, test pilot and astronaut.